Yeah. Hi everyone, this is Kiran Kumar. Today I would like to discuss about the bicing moss fabrication process. So, as the name, it says that bicing moss, the complementary metal oxide semiconductor. So, bi means it is two or bipolar, we can say that. So, complementary metal oxide semiconductor means it contains both the N MOS as well as P MOS. Let us see, look into the fabrication process. Now, if you see the structure of your bi CMOS, it is having one N MOS and one P MOS and one NPN BJT that is bipolar junction transistor. As as we know the N MOS fabrication, we will we are here. Uh, it is very easy for us to understand about the bi CMOS. Uh, fabrication process. Now, let us go uh, into the, the matter where we can see the step by step process of the fabrication process of your bi CMOS. Now, whenever you want to start a fabrication process for that, we require a silicon substrate into which I will be adding the p type impurities to form a p type substrate. Uh, and on the p type substrate, I am covering it with an oxide to protect the surface of the p-type substrate to further oxidized. Now, the a window is opened through an oxide layer by using the UV rays and in that window, we are, uh, what we are doing is the window n-type impurities is heavily doped uh, and we are making a n plus buried layer in your p-type substrate. Why we are making this one means uh, to accommodate your BJT transistor. Now, on the top of your p-type substrate, I am growing uh, an entire surface, I am growing a p-epitex which is used to protect your n plus buried layer. Now, as we have seen so many steps in the NMOS fabrication process, in the same process, after placing the oxide layer, I will be placing a mask to pass the UV rays and will be removing the selected areas uh, by etching process and uh, to form the windows on the surface such that I can use, I can form the uh, transistors in this particular place. Now, through the two windows, n-type impurities are diffused into the, uh, into form, uh, sorry, to form the n wells. So, one n well is for your PMOS, the other n well is, is acting as a collector for your bipolar junction transistor. Now, again one more window is opened here, which is used to form your n MOS. Three windows are opened throughout the oxide layer. In these three windows, three active devices NMOS, PMOS, and NPN BJT are formed. Now, we are placing the polysilicon layer and again doing the same process of your UV rays and we are removing the unwanted material. Finally, on the gate of your NMOS and on the gate of your PMOS, you have a what we see the polysilicon. Now, as we know collector is already formed, here I am forming a base by inducing a p-type substrate into an n-well. Next, now I am diffusing the n-type material such that to form an n-transistor that is n-MOS transistor and here emitter base and collector to form a BJT and here I want a p-diffusion to form a p-MOS transistor and again I am growing a layer of oxide and uh, further doing the window process, uh, sorry, further doing the UV ray process and uh, depositing the metal finally forming the NMOS, PMOS and NPN BJT transistor which is nothing but your bi CMOS. So, <coughs> Thank you for more videos, subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please share with your friends and uh, give your feedback on my uh, channel. Thank you, thank you once again.